Welcome to the most exciting and interactive 30 minutes of your day here on the Joy News channel on GoTV channel 144 and DSTV channel 421 on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram with Joy News on TV. This is Joy News Interactive, and I am Peter Sibili. Thank you so much for your company. Now, Communication Minister Ursula Oso Kufo has revealed that she's been at the receiving end of personal tax following the mode of implementation of the communication service tax by the telecommunication companies. Now, according to her, she receives text messages referring to her as a wicked witch. This follows the upfront deduction of 9% from every airtime recharge by telcos from October. First. Now, a situation that has generated an uproar. This is making government unpopular, especially the way it's been implemented. Oh, absolutely. And it appeared to be a deliberate attempt to do so. They've denied it. But it is as if if you won't uh, give us at least four weeks before the um, imposition, the increase takes effect, then we will do this in the most painful manner as possible to cause this affection against government. And it is clear. And every when we had those conversations, we pointed it out to them. You may deny it, but your mode of implementation of this, fact, uh, this tax clearly demonstrates that even if it was an unintended consequence of your actions, that is what has happened to um, cause some disaffection against the government. I've been receiving text messages haranguing me for being a wicked witch for imposing this tax. And I told them that I don't have the power to impose taxes. That is not my duty. Taxes are imposed by parliament upon a request by the finance minister and government. That is their forty. I don't impose taxes. But there's such um, a huge kickback. And it is understandable. That's Minister of Communication. Now, you've been reacting to this on various social media platforms, but let's go to Facebook and see what you have been saying. This one is from at Sam A. Brainy, who says, to help the subscribers adjust to the system of taxes on telecommunication in Ghana, the deduction has to be small, small, or bits by bits, not as what they're doing now. You pay tax on call credit and data. It's okay, but it's not normal. We are not grown uh, to face too much tax like this. My people, should I increase the volume? Do you want to? Because I can't hear you. Abdul Aziz says, the government always wants to comfo uh, comfort itself and that the citizens um, government always emphasizes on paying taxes for their personal benefits and not the well-being of the citizens. Abdullah Raibu says, Honorable Minister, please let your deduction be on a monthly basis and not on every recharge and let us enjoy the benefits of our taxes. Al Haji Alex says, when you guys are busy jabbing Mahama left and right to win election, you never know one day it will come back uh, at you or to you. I mean, you this woman, I listened to you so many times saying it to Mahama. This one from Ad Ogoham who says it comes with your choice of profession. Presidents have been called worse names. I'm not saying it's a good thing to do, but stop taking it personal. Koku Simon says, I love how the telcos are quite over all the numerous directives. Kweku White says, I think the deduction should be um, done once in a month. Deducting on every recharge, I think, is overtaxing. It should be reviewed. Super Bay says, why should we register our SIM cards? Can you please tell us the whole truth? I hope you're not going to start monitoring our conversations and movements. All right, so now let's talk about security. We know that security awareness is the knowledge and attitude members of an organization possess regarding the protection of the physical and especially informational assets of that organization. Now, when you're sitting in a car or in a trotter, what kind of conversations do you have? Well, the Ghana Police Service has this tip for us uh, to avoid certain conversations when sitting in public transport.
Yeah, Charlie. Marco Kashiska, no. I have to pay the fees, 1200 Avoid certain conversations when sitting in the public transport. You may end up giving out some valid information to another person and it may be used against you. My cash boy, boss, help me make a push and spark it. Have a, have a, have a, have a, It is important to take note of the car's identity, including the car's number, when you fall victim. Let's be vigilant and fight against crime. This message was brought to you by the Public Affairs Directorate of the Ghana Police Service. Now, you know which conversation to avoid when sitting in public transport. On that note, I'm going to take a quick breather. We'll be back with more. Welcome back from the breather. Still watching Joey's Interactive here on the DSU channel 421 and go to channel 144 on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with Joe News on TV. Now, I'm going to take a few calls uh, in regards to the CST. What are your opinions? What are your thoughts on this? I mean, this is something that affects you. The phone lines are 0302 221 So tell me, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, a lot of people were very excited when they said, okay, so now if you've recharged, uh, your data will roll over, which is something very exciting because, I mean, if you buy data and you can't use it for the whole day and it just expires, it's very painful because, I mean, listen, you just lost a lot of money. Also, 9% deduction. How did you feel? How do you feel now? How was it? I mean, it's something that affects you. So tell us on 03022 We also know that the minister has received some uh, threats and people are calling her a wicked witch uh, after this whole uh, thing of, you know, increasing uh, the taxes. Many people are calling to, for it to be indirectly taxes, taxed, you know. People don't want to see their money just leave. Nobody wants to see it. I know I don't want to see my money leave. Let's go to our first caller in Cape Coast. Good morning, Fred. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm cool. So tell me your thoughts about the communication service tax. Um, I think that what the government is trying to do is to prevent the public from knowing that the taxes are affecting their livelihood. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, what they are expecting the telecommunications to do is to hide the deduction of these taxes so that the public would not know that these things are going on. At the end of the day, the telecommunication industry, people will complain that they are charging them too much. And this will be as a result of the tax being deducted unknowingly. Mm -hmm. I believe this mode of deduction is the best. Yeah. When you go to a supermarket and you buy items, yeah. you get your receipt instantly, you see all the taxes that you pay. This is just like it. I don't see any difference. I don't see why the government has a travel. Okay. They are becoming unpopular, but mm -hmm. they just have to let the public know the benefit of this tax, and that will, be, that will solve the problem. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. That's Fred in Cape Coast. And he's saying that the government needs to tell the citizens, its citizens, what the benefits of this is. A lot of people refuse to see the citizens, uh, to see, excuse me, uh, the benefits of this. They're calling for it to just be scrapped off because, listen, 9%, when you put in that 10 CDs and you are planning on buying just 10 CDs data, you have to buy like 11 CDs credits, which is very unfortunate because you had budgeted for 10 CDs. You know, it's really unfair. But let's see if we can get more callers on that. 030-221-1691 or 030-221-1692. Call us. Give us a shout out if you want to. Come tell us what's happening. Tell us how this has been affecting you lately. And Latifa is on the line. Hello. Hi. Hi, Latifa. Hello? Yes, Latifa. So what I need you to do is that turn off your uh, volume on your TV set and talk to me directly, yeah? Okay. 
<laughs> so, Latifa, I'm sure you want to hear we lost Latifa. Okay, I, that's very unfortunate because since I, I've been doing this and people are calling in, this is the first lady um, I've actually spoken to. So, I'm very, very, very sad. Latifa, if you're listening, please call back, but just make sure that you turn off your volume set. I'm sure you want to hear your voice on the TV, but no. So use your phone, okay? All right. Thank you so much, Latifa. Mr. Moore. Good morning. Mr. Moore. Mr. Kumar. Hello. Hi. Yes. Uh, so my concern is uh, why are we fighting about this? We the users. Mm -hmm. Now the fight is between the government and the telco people. They are fighting about how to get their money. Nobody is thinking about the users who are suffering to pay this tax. Mm. You take 17% VAT and take 9% on the CST, whatever, making over 22% tax on we the users. And you are fighting over how to get the money, how to pay the money. You are not fighting about we who are paying the money, who are suffering and complaining. This is nonsense. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Moore. Are we going to Tamale? Tamale, good morning. Let's go to Ganyu. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. All right, so I need you to, I can hear myself at the back. So I need you to turn down your volume set, talk to me through the phone. Okay, thank you. All right, so tell me your thoughts about the CST. What do you think? You see, my, my point is, I don't understand why. Hello? Yes, I'm here. I don't understand why the government will try maybe to, 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 to downplay the intelligence of Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. If you tax something, if you take something from my money, why are you hiding for maybe the people not to know that you're really taking something from me? Mm -hmm. If you take something from me, let me know what you are going to do with what you are taking from me. I think well, that will not have any problem. Yeah. But if you go back to tell the one you asked to take their money, mm -hmm. why is he telling that? Why is he telling the owner that I've taken something from him? You see, they should just stop their, their double game and let us know what we are doing in Ghana. Yeah. NPP, look at the way Esla was talking. Too arrogant. He's not the only intelligent lady in Ghana. But actually, if you look at the way he, the, 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 this is that he was portrayed to the, uh, 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 this, the interviewer, mm -hmm. very bad. All right, thank you so much. Now let's go to Sprintex. And Frank is on the line. Is Frank on the line? Good morning, Frank. No, we've lost Frank. Have we lost Frank? Yes, we've lost Frank. Okay, so we've lost Frank. All right, thank you so much. So far, Fred, Latifa, Mr. Mo, Ganyu, and Frank that we've just lost uh, have called us and they've been telling us uh, about their thoughts and opinions on the communication service tax, how it's affecting them. Like Fred said, you know what? Government needs to introduce and needs to tell the citizens about uh, the CST benefits. A lot of people are opposing it. People don't want it. But, I mean... Telecommunications uh, companies have to do what they have to do. Yakubu, good morning. Morning. Where are you calling from, Yakubu? I'm calling from China. All right. Okay. So Yakubu is calling from China. Good morning. So tell us your thoughts about this. Yeah. My problem is uh, the credit that uh, now we are buying the credit and they are that we the, the, the money. No. Yeah. I'm not understand. Okay. Because we we vote the government like the government can help us. Mm -hmm. And why the government teaching us, we don't know the meaning, the money that they are reducing. Okay. Because I want to uh, government know that if we make it be governor, he himself, it can be governor like that. We, we vote him before he can be governor like that. So you have to consider us. Because it's supposed that if you want tax, the network people know. It's yes. supposed that he contact uh, he tax them. But it's not supposed that maybe we buy credit and they are reducting we and we don't understand any amount that they are they are commodity. No, we don't know the meaning. Mm -hmm. So that is my problem. All right, okay, so thank you so much. I could be calling from Chiana. And straight from Ghana, Chiana, we are going to Kenya where Elud Kipchoge made history on Saturday as he became the first athlete to complete a marathon in under two hours. 
However, this effort by the athlete would not be recognized by the IAF as it, has, it was an of unofficial event. Now, the Olympic marathon champion completed the course running 26.22 miles in one hour, 59 minutes and 40 seconds. Now, this took social media by storm, but if you missed that marathon, let's check out a bit of that. Tell him to move away. Come on, he says. Come on, this is it. Shalina, final this call from you. This is incredible. Elia's performance is such a gift to the world. His running is a gift to all of us. I feel so blessed to be here today. I feel like, I hope everyone can hear me smiling through this microphone right now. I cannot stop smiling. 500 meters to go. He has the Hauptalli to himself. He's All the pacemakers have let him go. As Ed said, he is sprinting into the history books here. They're cheering him on. 400 meters to go. Let's bring him home. This is history unfolding on the streets of Vienna this morning. It's a Saturday run like we've never seen before. Listen at the noise, the crowd getting right behind him. Goodness me, 300 meters to go. He can see the finish line here. Neil Armstrong we had on the moon in 1969. We had Roger Bannister, the four minute mile 65 years ago. Edmund Hillary, the first man to climb Everest in 1953. We have one minute to go. Elliot Kipchoge is on his way here. It's this, not humble, be a minute. this humble farmer who used to run two miles to school every day and back. He used to go to the nearest town on his bike to sell milk at the local market. And now, through hard work and discipline, he's pointing. Come on, he says. Elliot Kipchoge has the hand of history on his shoulder. He has less than 200 meters to go. Elliot Kipchoge, let's keep an eye on the clock. Into the final 20 seconds, Elliot Kipchoge. I mean, I mean, it was just groundbreaking. But he posted this video on Twitter with the caption, History. Let's watch that video. Video that he posted on his Twitter. Elliot Kipchoge, let's keep an eye on the clock. Into the final 20 seconds, Elliot Kipchoge. Whoa! He's got his shoulder, 140, uh -huh. 140, the unofficial uh, line. there's his wife. Elliot, Elliot Kipchoge storms into the history books in Vienna. 159.40, the unofficial time. The first man to run a marathon in under two hours. One final lung-busting stride for Kipchoge. One giant leap for human endeavor. And indeed, the history was made. Now, on social media, this made a uh, lot of rounds. Let's see if we can go to gadgets, uh, the websites there, and check out how the trends are. So more PCs than phones uh, were watching this. 11 billion plus impressions. This is how the world watch uh, Elliot. So let's go uh, down and see uh, the trends. Let's go to the trends. Let's try to zoom in on that. So uh, on Twitter, a number of hashtags were trending in association with the event. And now the hashtags, hashtag Elliot159, hashtag Kipchoge159, and hashtag no human is limited uh, had over 1, 11 billion impressions from over 200,000 tweets as of October the 2nd. Now the conversation created around these hashtags were 46% positive remarks and 3% negative. So the most inf influential tweets came from the following accounts. So we had the very the man himself, Elliot Kipchoge. We had Man City. We've got IAF. Uh, we've got Droid. We've got BBC Sports and BBC Africa that were tweeting about this. Now, in terms of viewership, uh, about over 3, mi three million uh, subscribers of the Safaricom recommended the offer and they watched that. So this is how the world and 11 billion, actually, people uh, watched this and more personal computers than phones watch this so i mean this is how the world uh, watched Elliot make groundbreaking history talking about groundbreaking history as a black person what a time to be black so uh, much awesomeness happening what a time to be black 
All right, so Tyler Perry, as we know, the actor, director, producer, entrepreneur, opened the largest movie studio in history. That is larger than the Hollywood studios, Warner Brothers, Paramount, and Disney combined. So this is the first one. Second one, Eliot Kipchoge, which we just watched, the greatest marathon runner of all time. Although it won't be counted um, amongst the IAF because it was an unofficial um, event, but it's something that we will never forget. It is something that we'll never forget. And the last one is Ebi Ahmed, who the Prime Minister of uh, uh, Ethiopia, who won the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize. So, I mean, what a time to be black. This is just so inspiring for us as black men and women who are always fighting the system, who are always trying to be better. We look at the likes of Tyler Perry, we look at the likes of Elod Kipchoge, we look at Abi Ahmed, and it just makes us proud. What a time to be black. Now, let's talk about some fan milk. Actually, what we'll do is that we'll save that fan milk for you for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. But because it's Tuesday, we'll give you some Tuesday thoughts. There's just something that's just right there, but it's just oh, slightly out of reach for you. And maybe it's kind of distorted and you don't have a clear vision on something. You know what? Don't let that hold you back. Just keep stepping forward because even if it's just foggy out, you still have to get to your destination. And as long as you can see one foot in front of the other, who cares what's ahead of you because you know what that next step is. Don't let yourself not being able to see 10 steps ahead keep you in the same spot. Just take that first step and then you'll be able to see the next one and the next one and the next one. You will never have a super clear vision of the future and that's okay. You'll never have a super clear vision of the future, and that's okay. All you need to do is take one step, and another, and another, and another, and you'll get to the top. So that's how we end today's edition of Joy's Interactive with myself, Mapisa CBD. You know how to continue the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, where Joy News are on TV. Thank you so much for watching. Do join me at 12.50 for showbiz on JN Today. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day.